All right. What up? It's that guy. Not locks. Not nation. Appreciate you guys stopping by here each and every day. I'm getting back on my grind. I'm getting back in the spirit of good attitudes and positive vibrations and manifesting my destiny through the YouTube content. And I am enjoying the summer. Hopefully you guys are too. I've been getting a lot of messages about the specific somebody with dreads that used to have dreads. Goes by the name of Jumex. I didn't even think he had dreads ever, but we're going to be looking at this industry plant and his locks that once were green. So make sure you stay tuned, stay subscribed. This is Not Nation. The Nation. You could be mad cause baby I'm a loner. Yeah. Now when I said industry plant, I only said that because I watched a video saying um, on Muggy's channel talking about industry plants and hip hop and they feel that he is one. Um, Whatever your opinion is, let me know in the comments down below. I'll just leave it there. But we are looking at his locks that did exist at some point. And I'm going to show you these right now. Jumex Dreads. Jumex actually has a very interesting personality. Very interesting persona. Um, and his music is actually pretty good. I like the the vibes and the kind of like the emotion and this like the way that he sings it reminds me of a few other people but he does a pretty good job at making music um looking at his locks more specifically i have to make this a little bit smaller here more specifically jumex you might remember jumex uh more recently uh looking like uh look i'm gonna move this over here sorry guys uh more recently looking like this He's got the XO heart XO tattoo on his face. Always rocking the green. But once upon a time, he did go from this or the vice versa, from this to that. But regardless, he did have some bomb ass green dreadlocks once upon a time. Now, Jumex dreads looking like they were crocheted, backcombed, bleached, dyed to get like this. Um, this dude obviously rocking a lot of hair dye in his hair over the years. This photo here, if this is even Jumex in the photo, it looks like the same hair. Started out here with more of like straight hair, uh, twist and rip, it looks like. There's boys, uh, there's, <laughs> I saw sad boys when I said boys. There's pictures floating around here with his dreads with a lot of rubber bands in them. So I have a feeling that he was using rubber bands to help form them as well. Not really knowing if they actually work or not, or if he's just doing it for the aesthetics, but you can see different colored rubber bands at the root. I have a feeling that he felt that he needed rubber bands to kind of keep them from unraveling. Not always the case. As you see down, as they started to mature, the rubber bands had come out. The loose hairs are still around everywhere, and the tips being pretty wispy slash blunted at the same time. But the new growth, not interlocked, not retwisted down to the scalp. So he did have it. And here's another picture with the rubber bands that he had going on. In this photo, these dreads look pretty fresh. They look like they've just kind of been twisted and crocheted back home together recently. So these definitely the earlier stages of what was going on here. Obviously, pictures like this showing us how straight his hair actually is. Not really sure of his ethnicity or anything, but... His locks did turn out to be pretty thick. Now, at this point, his locks would have been like pretty fluffy and light. They wouldn't have been matured or anything. But you can see like how it's just like even the rubber bands in there very loosely as well. So they're not even really doing much. It's all for aesthetics, actually. This photo here with his dreads are kind of in like a ponytail with the headphones on. At this stage, they look like they've been maturing a little bit more than what we were seeing in the past. And I'm personally a fan of the color that he has going with these dreads. This is like slime neon green is like pretty courageous, I'd want to say. It would definitely get a lot of looks out in the streets. A lot of people will be looking at you. And uh, apparently they shine in the black light like no tomorrow. So, I mean, a very unique hair color. The only person that I can personally see that had hair similar to this was Offset. When he had that turquoise teal kind of ombre look going on with his old set of locks. 
Um, this obviously is not Jumex here, but these are some fake green dreads in uh, appreciation of Jumex's dreads. Uh, here he is in a Care Bear onesie with the green dreads. I mean, he loves green. I love green too. Green weed, purple weed. And even there's a little bit of yellow tips on here. So it reminds me of the Jamaican flag a little bit. The green, yellow, and the black. So, I mean, nowadays, Jumex doesn't have these dreads floating around anymore. But he did have a pretty decent set, which don't exist in any of his music videos when you watch them. So, not really sure how long this fad lasted for Jumex. But I feel like he should have kept them. He should have kept the dreads, kept them growing longer, kept dyeing them green. But in these beginning stages, they are just friggin' twisted and back home together with some rubber bands in there. Uh, so, I mean, it is a way to get your locks, right? So, uh, anyone out there with type 1 hair looking to lock up, twist and rip, uh, back home, crochet, which pretty much Jumex has done here to get these. Definitely was looking pretty cool the way that he has it. Um, I'm going to check his Instagram real quick just to show you what his what his hair is like exactly in his last picture that he's posted um so now we can see his hair is shorter more of like a bowl cut still the same color tones in the neon rooms but definitely not rocking the dreads anymore and we actually see his hair texture here as well which is more like a 1c he does have some curl going on to it and which these could be f some pretty good freeform locks has he just left them yeah that's about it for jumex um let me know in the comments below what you guys feel about jumex's music about his hair uh and all that great stuff um there is some a couple good songs out there i don't really have any much more to say about him but go check him out for yourself so until next time peace out one loves to happy and natty and i'll see you in the next dreadlock update until then I'm gone. Adios. You could be sad, baby. I'm a loner.